This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of June 24th. When's it going to end, people ask me, every time the energy is weird or troubling, and that kind of question has been popping up a lot lately. What we're dealing with now will be with us for the next three months and maybe a bit beyond. It does take a slightly different shading this week, and let me put it in perspective. Even in the darkest times, the bleakest times, people have fallen in love, married, started families, created magnificent works of art, and found peace and solace and beauty somewhere in their life, no matter what was going on outside in the world. That's a lot of what we have on tap right now. Our hearts are hungering. The weirdness, the fogginess, the sensation that there's something just out of reach or that you can't quite put your hand around or your head around. The suspicion that someone's not really telling you the truth, particularly when it comes to the news, national events, international events. That continues. The difference this week is indulgence starts to come to the fore. Our hearts really want something. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter if it's not a rational desire. It doesn't matter if it's escapist. It doesn't matter if reason says, are you out of your mind? Our hearts are getting into the act of dreaming The two bodies that rule indulgence are in a harsh aspect at the beginning of the week, Venus and Jupiter. Neither one of them likes to hear the word no. Both of them like to have more of whatever they want. And when they clash, they increase the desire for more. And Neptune, the miracle maker, the transcendent, the illusionist, the dream weaver, the cosmic fog machine. Neptune's in the middle of their squabble. So there could be a really heavy romantic element to things happening, actually. And romantic doesn't necessarily mean lovey-dovey stuff between two people. There could be almost like a cinematic quality to things that are going on. And there will be an increase in your wanting something simply because you want it. And it's kind of like, a reward, like I've put up with so much, I deserve this now. So why not? You're not going to be able to stop the urgings anyway. And we all get noisier as this goes on. On the 26th, the communication god Mercury enters the fiery, exuberant sign of Leo. This is, look at me, generous energy, attention-getting, We'll be yakking it up with each other and really wanting to share what we're going through. Huge desire for attention. And part of what is particularly noteworthy about this switch with Mercury is later in July, he will go retrograde over the territory that he covers the rest of this month. So... We're getting like coming attractions and we'll have the chance to go back over some of the conversations and then we'll have an element of wrapping things up and moving things into a newer form in August after he has cleared all of the retrograde territory. So just know that a push to have some fun, to be with people, to talk, to laugh, to live extravagantly is hitting and amping up this week. And a doorway is opening, the little little interesting bony figure saying, hey, want to do this? To do, to try something different, to expand, not so much expand, to shatter some limitations that you've been living under, to do something unconventional for you, might not be unconventional by anybody else's measuring stick, to try something different, to be someone just a little bit more daring, a little bit more quirky, a little bit more maybe true to who you really are. 
And all week long, there's a, an undercurrent that becomes pronounced over the weekend of a clock ticking louder and louder and louder and louder like the clock in the crocodile that took the hand of Captain Hook in Peter Pan. Something coming saying, unavoidable, got to deal with it, it's here, it's here, it's here. Saturn, the planet of rules, restriction, the way things have always been, the planet of adulting, order, karma, is making another move across the doorway to the past. He was there at the very end of April. He is there at the very end of June, this time retrograding. So something that you maybe didn't quite deal with, restructure, clean up at the end of April, you now this week have the growing opportunity to deal with. It's kind of like the judgment card in the tarot. There is a sense of a cosmic alarm clock going off and things happening that are not going to let you brush them under the carpet anymore having to deal with stuff. So just dive in, hunker down, be an adult, clean it up, whatever it might be. This is actually helping you clear the way for the way you want your life to be in the future. So yes, it could be tedious. Yes, it's probably something you don't really want to do, but tackle it, break it down into increments, go with it. You've allowed yourself some element of indulgence. Now go back, put your nose to the grindstone again and deal with something and get it out of the way once and for all. The homing thought of the week. The heart wants what it wants, so why not let it have it? Song of the week. One day more from Les Mis. And the image of the week is a college student cleaning out and packing up a dorm room after graduation. You'll find a lot more information about what is going on, particularly the Saturn South Node cleanup business, in my guide, The Retrogrades of Summer 2019, which is available in the shop at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. Watch that site also for an announcement of when my talk is ready about the solstice and the summer of 2019, which will be available for sale in the shop. And don't forget that I also have a What the H is Going On tarot reading video at the Professional Aquarian YouTube channel, and you can order your own personal one for an extremely minimal cost. Talk to you next week.